What is one of the biggest struggles you've dealt with while on your journey? This is definitely a struggle that I still deal with sometimes. And the struggle is that when you, when you're walking an authentic path, when you're really being true to yourself and you're big on, let's say, integrity or accountability or wanting closeness with people, people in your life are probably going to project onto you that you're very cold. Like I know for certain that a lot of people think that I'm cold because I don't like being emotionally entangled with people who are not healthy. So if I can sense or read someone's energy and I know that they're they're gonna get um, they're gonna start to expect too much from me or they're going to blame me for things, I can sense that before getting to know someone or if I've known someone, then they're gonna say that Phil is a really cold person. He, he pulls away from everyone and all this, but it's not true. It, that's really just the flipped reality. The reality is that I give people plenty of chances to get close to me and I, I want friendship and I, I want closeness and I, I do feel like we have to uphold our level of integrity as humans, but because I have such a high level of integrity, I'm not going to collude with something that doesn't feel good to me. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. And so as a result of that, if people can't control you, then they, they feel judged by you, even though you're not judging them. If anything, you're where you are because you've let go of all your judgments, but they're still going to project onto you that you're a very cold person. And that's not the truth, especially if you know that you're following your heart and people just don't want to come with you. And so that can be really tough sometimes because there can be long periods of nothingness. You just feel alone. You feel like really misunderstood, but something deep down is calling you and you have to keep following it. And I have to continue to believe that life will get better at some point through having followed my truth. Um, so I think that can be difficult at times, is that you get gaslit by the world in a way when you're doing what most people would disrespect, but that the universe would actually respect. It's like you're doing something that means something. Um, you don't believe in lying. You don't believe in manipulating. You don't expect people, things from people. It's like you're following all the, the, the truer laws but because other people are following the the corrupt laws of how to be in relationship, then of course they paint this picture of you that's false. Um, so that can that can be saddening at times, but you just have to keep believing in yourself and following your heart. And yeah, I can't tell you how many people in my life I wanted to get close to. Like, hey, let's talk about this. Or hey, why don't you come over and let's have a sleepover. People are afraid of closeness. They're afraid of intimacy. Or when you hold someone accountable, just like I love when people hold me accountable because I always strive to be a better person. But when you hold someone accountable and they don't want to hear it and you're like, I get you, like I love you, but I also have my own integrity to uphold. Or if someone wants you to be something other than you are, they're asking you to betray your truth. They're asking you to go against your character. So if I'm not going to do that, then they're gonna, they might judge that. So it's, it's not an easy journey, it's not, but you have to believe in yourself and you have to keep following what you know to be love. And love doesn't always agree with people. Love doesn't always condone unhealthy behaviors. Love, love is a tough teacher sometimes. And it's not that I'm doing it to teach people, I'm doing it because I believe that there are people out there who do wanna get close people out there who do want to be held accountable, people out there who will hold me accountable. I mean, you know, I tell you all the time, tell me everything that I'm doing wrong so I can course correct it. So it's, I, I love becoming a better person. I love learning and growing. I don't think I know everything at all. I think that I, I look forward to, to becoming a better person. So I love when people give me feedback and, and all of this, but it has to come from the right place. If it's someone giving me feedback because they're unable to control me, then I'm gonna feel that. They're trying to change who I am and I am who I am. So you just have to be true to yourself and know that life is gonna get better. Has it fully tipped over for me yet? No, it hasn't tipped over fully for me yet, but I feel better than I ever have. I feel more at peace than I ever have. Have I hurt a lot of, a lot of people along the way? 
Yes, but not intentionally or deliberately. I think that it's inevitable that you're going to hurt people because everyone's going to interpret what your truth is differently. Not everyone's going to interpret you the right way. And But as long as you know that your intentions are pure, you know that you can't please everyone. You can be the kindest person in the world and other people are going to be like, he's a people pleaser. Or you can be the most blunt person in the world and people will love that. So you can't please everyone. And I think that's what it boils down to is just remaining true to who you are. And if people can't respect your path to self-empowerment, then they're not for you. And if they want to call you cold, then let it be.